move came a day after McMahon was accused of sexual assault and sex trafficking in the lawsuit. A former WWE employee, Janelle Grant, claims she was physically and emotionally abused by McMahon. He's denied the allegations and says he's stepping down out of respect for the WWE universe. Salute, salute. Salute. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? How's everybody? Hey, what's going on, chat? What's going on? Righteous fear stand up. Let's go. Salute. Salute. What's going on, Red? Hope everything is good on your end, brother. Oh, sorry for that right there, fellas, but I'm glad. I'm glad we're here today, and we got a great one today, guys. Welcome to class. Vince is the definition of evil. I, I couldn't do this without the Turnbuckle King, KDH, and I couldn't do this without our sports analyst, Uncle Jackie. So salute to y'all. Thank y'all for coming out this morning. KDH. Salute, brother. Salute. And give us a little bit of intro of what we're going to be doing today, man. What's going on? Let them know what we're going to be doing today. Yeah, we're, uh, going, to we're going to be talking that. about the Vince McMahon, the history of former chairman history of allegations. We're going to discuss, you know, the whole allegations of everything he's done from A to B. Exactly. All right, guys. So without any further ado, let's get on into this right here and let's break this thing down. Yeah, I know that um Vince built the empire. Then not from the ground up, because you know what I mean the, the the foundation was laid out, but he built the empire. And normally Rome, I tell you all of the time, Rome wasn't built in a day, but it a burning one. And Sometimes it's at the childhood, people's childhood trauma. It, it's the reason why they are the way they are, guys. Now, I want I need y'all to understand. I'm trying to stall so that we can pass the little, the little clearance. If you haven't ate breakfast yet, if you're one of them people with a sick stomach, you might want to refrain from this live stream, all right? Because we're going to dig deep into the history and the background and the childhood of Vince McMahon, because that's the only way to understand why he's so disturbed and what's wrong with him. All right? Definitely. Yep, yep. All right, so we're going to start from the ground up, like I said. Um, I can't, because of WWE and a strict copyright clause, I can't, um, play any video, but we got some audio, and I need y'all to listen to this, guys. I need y'all to listen to this. McMahon declined to participate in the documentary you are about to watch. Earlier tonight, my father, Vince McMahon, retired from WWE. With those nine words, Stephanie McMahon stunned the world of professional wrestling. I don't think anybody would have ever said that Vince McMahon would have ever stepped down. Everybody figured that he was going to do this until he died. Welcome to SmackDown! Over decades, Vince McMahon faced financial ruin. Vince mortgaged every dime that he had. Battled ruthless competition. And now WCW is about to dominate the globe of professional wrestling. And confronted career-ending scandals. Speculation is running wild. Did steroids play a role, or is there another explanation? He could be a tyrant. The whole thing was an abortive kind of a screw job. So many scandals. I, I don't even know if there would be a wrestling business by the time all the investigations were complete often close to being pinned. He was down many times 
Vince always kicks out. In every case, he bounced back. I said, I've never seen anything like that. These are the nine lives of Vince McMahon. First of all, I, I resent your tone. The origin story of the rich and powerful wrestling mogul, Vincent McMahon Jr., begins in a poor, run-down North Carolina trailer park where a tough, mouthy, dyslexic kid named Vinny Lupton is living with his mom. There was some kind of a falling out. In all right, guys, so already from the start, you see he had it rough, and he was a single hell of a son, single mama raised. <laughs> and we tell you, it's statistically proven that they raise the craziest, the worst products in America. It's not a bash. And it's not a color thing. It's not Tell a color bro. thing. You see it, right? Oh, bro, I already it's know, bro. Proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. We tell them this every day, bro. No, we know. Every day we say that, every day. Even when they tell us to look over there. Where a tough, mouthy, dyslexic kid named Vinny Lupton is living with his mom. There was some kind of a falling out in the marriage, and then he and his brother Rod were left to be raised by their mother Vicky. He kind of had a chip on his shoulder from the beginning. All most people know from this period of Vince's life comes from his 2001 interview with Playboy magazine. He alludes to his mother sexually assaulting him. He alludes to being molested when he was six by other teenage kids. And this is crazy, guys. This is his writing. This is in his, this is, this was in that report, guys. No cap, no flex. This was in that report right there. So this is why, this is, this is no excuse. This is no excuse for what he doing. But, you know, I like to dig deep. I like to find out why the weirdo is a weirdo. You know what I mean? And this is the reason why, guys. Just like Puff, when we did that research on Puff and we found out that he had a hell of a mother who was a 304, brought dudes around him, and, and we see how he turned out. So ladies, y'all, y'all got to start checking these mothers. These mothers are the ones producing these essayers, and you know what I mean? If the proof is in the pudding, bro. There's stories of his mother bringing various different men into their life. Wait a minute. Hold on. You wildin', bro. Lives. There was, in particular, uh, Leo Lupton, who was officially Vince's stepfather. He apparently was a very abusive man. And despite that abuse, or perhaps because of it, Vince develops a ruthlessness that will come to define him. Vince said that he was upset that Leo Lupton died before he had a chance to kill him, and that he would have really enjoyed uh, being able to do that. At 12. Yo, y'all want to chime in on that right there, yo? So this boy grew up with that resentment to, to dudes. This is why he, like, emasculating and seeing guys big strong wrestlers in compromising position um this is just i have to say that vince it explains everything he's done and if you notice it's a trail that no one ever wants to work with vince we thought because he was just a terrible boss to work with but he had um definitely issues you know beyond just being a terrible boss he has some mental issues and he lied to degraded people and like you say masculine people and like to abuse his power and abuse and force himself on people. And now I see why all the lawsuits over the years and why people just had such a disdain, long, dis, uh, a strong disdain for him. Now it makes sense. Now, let me, um, before y'all do another video, what I think it just came to my brain about, you know, somebody did what they did to him, the essay, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, this is, um, now this is just me going into my school now, just for y'all people who care about school. Uh, Vince McMahon, this is payback for him. Some of this is payback for him. When he was having a moment, powerless and helpless, and you know, whatever was happening was happening, 
I think this, I mean, I might be wrong, but this is how it seems to me. This is my, might be some get back. You know what I'm saying? Just like, oh, before I was powerless, now I have all the power. Now I'm gonna make people feel the way I felt. Whether it's through SA, through, you know, brute force or using his power. You know what I mean? That, I mean, it, it, it could be something like that. That's exactly what it is, though. That's exactly what it is. And mm -hmm. uh, you totally, spot on, Uncle Jackie. You spot on with that one. Yeah, that man making people pay. Uh, he's sick. Um, basically, yeah. But, yeah. Whatever is in the dark comes to light. Oh, Uncle Jackie, we lost Uncle Jackie. He'll be back. You there, KD? I'm still here. All right chance to kill him and that he would have really enjoyed uh, being able to do that. At 12, Vince finally meets his biological father, who happens to be one of wrestling's most successful promoters. Vince. We went over that. We went over that yesterday, guys. Now, how many of y'all think that his mother knew exactly that he had a dad that was rich, but she keep the kid over there with him, with her, I mean, until he was 12 years old, until she can't handle him no more until he's able to comprehend. And now he realized True. you a fool. You a whole fool. Wow. Meanwhile, his dad way across town with the bag though, but the mother's pride won't allow her to let the fathers be involved. He ain't meet his biological dad till he was 12 guys. After the damage, after the generation who cursed been blessed upon him. Vincent James McMahon, or Vince Sr. Vincent James McMahon was the most important person in professional wrestling in the Northeastern United States. Here's promoter Vince McMahon's wrestling lineup for this arena next week. Vince becomes like that storybook teenager who runs away from an evil stepfather to join the circus. You know, there's stories of Vince hanging out with Dr. Jerry Graham, who is this very flamboyant, kind of over the top figure in pro wrestling where Vince would ride down the street in his convertible with him while he was lighting cigars, you know, with hundred dollar bills. But when Vince starts stealing cars for joy rides and getting into fights, Vince Sr. tries sending him away. Vince would. Damn, so you was a damn thief. You a damn thief too, you was a thief too, Vince. Oh <laughs> man. Still a thief. Vince is a he a, he a wild boy. Yeah, he steals everything. <laughs> he steals everything. He a wild boy. Yeah. He a wild boy, bro. He ain't, the more things change, the more things stay the same. Right. So, yeah. yeah, Vince the deep. biggest heel in history in wrestling. Biggest heel. Real life. <laughs> Demon. <laughs> mm hmm To Fishburne Military Academy. Legend has it that uh, he got into a lot of trouble. He claimed that he was the only student there to ever have been court-martialed. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but the story goes that he was an unruly kid and that the military school kind of really had their hands full with him. Until his mom finds him a girl, as Vince explains in this 1999 TV. So his mom's was the madam. His mom's finds him a girl. You know what <laughs> I mean? His mom's finds him a girl. Instead of leaving this boy, in, in in the school so you can get right, so you can get some discipline. You lure this boy back into society with a female and this man out here essaying women and we wonder why. Mm -hmm. Can't make this shit up. Yeah, I think everybody's gonna pay. <laughs> exactly, yo. Hold on, this is the damning, this is the, ne the next thing is damning, yo. Court martialed. I, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but the story goes that he was an unruly kid and, and that the military school kind of really had their hands full with him. Until his mom finds him a girl, as Vince explains in this 1999 TV interview. My mom had said, you know, you have to come meet this beautiful blue-eyed girl. You know, she sings in the choir and she's pretty and you're really going <laughs> to... You had this, you had to specify blue-eyed girl, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, he made sure to say that. <laughs> Demons, <laughs> the devils, the <laughs> devils. Bro. She lured them with the demons. She lured them with the demon, yo. Yeah, hey, keep talking. Yeah, was... <laughs> Mom had said, you know, you have to come meet this beautiful blue-eyed girl. 
you know, she sings in the choir and she's pretty and you're really gonna like her. I, th I think I was uh, 13 years old. And this was, uh, at age 16. dare I say that you were old. You see, so that, that ain't never been our culture, but it seemed like that might've been their culture, yo. Just, you see, 13 yeah, definitely, years definitely old. Culture. And his mother, his mother is able to manipulate you at 13 to go fuck on her son, yo. And we want to follow this. This is the blueprint we want to bring to our culture. I don't get it, man. Shit crazy, guys. I don't get it either. <laughs> I don't 